Every time Timothy looks out of this makeshift workspace, he's constantly reminded that a relocation is imminent. While Bright, who owns the shop, is planning his fourth relocation, and this is taking its toll daily. It's affecting me like seriously because all my customers before, they have moved away from this area. Some people have, some people have lived Lagos because of this water. Erosion in Okuanfa and other neighboring coastal communities along Lekki Ekpe Expressway in Lagos is not news. Unfortunately, a former president's visit has not solved the problem. Instead, every year, residents have seen large portions of their lands washed away by the ocean. The ocean is an extremely powerful force and it's been ready to break through the barrier that has been there for centuries, which is the beachhead. And once it breaks through that barrier, the consequences on this whole lecky axis would be horrendous. And it would cost, instead of maybe hundreds of millions of dollars to rectify, it could actually cost billions, if not trillions of dollars, if we allow it to continue like this. It flows. The next place that is flowing into is the Express. The Nigerian Conservation Foundation has been at the forefront of those campaigning to put an end to the negative impact of the ocean surges on the residents. This has resulted in a visit by the senator representing the area. We just have an idea that we can push to government, and I'm sure that I will do my part by bringing the attention of um, the federal government to our plight. And it's not peculiar to us, like we said, there are other areas. But being the hometown of the current and president, they may want to, it's likely they want to do something around this um, hometown. For 82 year old Dr. Adekola Akinleye, a retired civil servant, what happens after this visit is what counts. He moved to Lafiaji community, which is a few kilometers from Okun Afa, for health reasons. About five years after he moved, the peace he enjoys here is being threatened. The ocean is just a few yards from his home and empty plots around him are now homes to many squatters. I went to the uh, Ministry of Waterfront mm -hmm. and Infrastructure, okay, to complain. Apart from the bad beach, you know, nothing had been done within the last for five years. This is not a new problem. It's been a recurring problem. But now the situation is getting worse. Uh, for example, this, this, this is supposed to be a layout now. Because we have papers, we have documents for, all, for the development around here. Today, people living in these coastal communities are living on a hope and a prayer. They are hoping that just like a lasting solution was found for Amadu Belo Way in Victoria Island, something will be done to save their communities while praying that their economic situation will not be a barrier to achieving the desired results. Ayola Kasim, Channels Television.